Vento. Lofty. Pass and it's caught. Jeff Vento. Touchdown. Oh, man, I can't even hardly breathe. Uh, they were a tough opponent, and we finally came back. And these kids have, uh, have been a great team all year. They certainly will, and I'm sure that's a piece of tape that you can watch for years. That's for sure. Vento to Vento, and uh, that was kind of the game clincher right there. We are pleased to welcome a legend in Michigan high school football coaching, John Harrington, to the studio. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank People you, might be wondering why you're here now, and I need to take a minute to explain why you're here now. Right. You are a nominee for the inaugural Don Shula NFL Coach of the Year Award. That's correct. That right. is amazing, because what that award does is it honors and really brings to light the work that people do all over, not just uh, high school, but youth and college. I mean, you're going up against Tom Coughlin, Pete Carroll, <laughs> that's Sean Payton. That's a big yeah, deal. That's a pretty tough competition to beat out, but I'm glad to be nominated. 28 people across the country. When you did find out that you were among the top 28, what goes through your head? You've been doing this for so long. I, I, it's paying off, I guess, at this uh, stage. I guess I figured longevity had something to do with it, but... Uh, I was the first Lions coach of the year way back when, and I think they remember that, and, and they nominated me, so I thank them for that. It goes beyond the 13 state championships that you've won. When I prepared for this interview, going through my mind were thoughts like, wow, this man coached men who are 20 years older than I am, and he coaches boys that are 20 years younger than I am. <laughs> How have you been able to stay in touch with a 16, 17, 18-year-old kid? Well, it's different. The culture has changed, and uh, I've got some young coaches that help me out, and uh, I have to listen to the rap music in our weight room and pretend like I like it well enough, you know. But seriously, the kids are all the same from all the generations. You know, they all love the game and want to play hard, and, and they're just fun to coach. You have been very innovative in the way you've coached high school football. Your team is always fun to watch. You like throwing it around. Not a lot of high school teams do. Why do you think that that's worked for you? Well, we've always had good athletes, I think, and good receivers, but uh, probably in our early years we ran the ball more, and then uh, we just went to more play-action passing, and our offense is uh, kind of uh, uh, gelled at, at certain things we do, and we haven't changed all that much. Now we're in the spread offense a little bit, like everybody. And a coach who's been around as long as you have has also had the great fortune of seeing his former players succeed at the collegiate level, go on to the pros. What's that like for you to keep an eye on those kids while at the same time trying to win games in Farmington Hills? Uh, it's tremendous. And uh, we have a lot of traditions at Harrison where they come back and see us all the time. Drew Santon comes back to the school all the time, talks to the players. And... Uh, we really enjoy their success at college and, and, and going on to great professions, too. A big week for you. Uh, what, what can you tell me, if anything, about I mean, obviously, specifics we're not going to get into, but it is signing day coming up. And what's that like for a coach? Because you have relationships with college coaches that are very intense. Oh, yeah, it's great. We've had a lot of coaches in this week, and uh, they're already doing the junior recruiting and sophomore recruiting because they pretty much got this year settled. But signing day is a big day. Uh, we won't have too many signing this year, but uh, in past years, if you have two or three, it's great. So not a lot signing this year means that the Hawks are probably going to be pretty good next year, huh? <laughs> I think we have three that might sign next year. That's correct. So yeah, that I leads. We'll be all right, but we got some holes to fill, like every coach. You and know. you're not taking it easy out of the gate. I think you're going to be in the kickoff right. classic next year at EMU. Tell me about that. Yeah. Well, Cast Tech. Cast Tech. Yeah, Coach Wilshire called me, and I uh, I said, well, that'd be a great contest. They'll have the same type of speed we do. Uh, and it's 8 o'clock at EMU, and it uh, should be a highlight game in the state, I think. Well, we congratulate you for being nominated for the Don Shula NFL Coach of the Year Award. The NFL is going to announce the winner of this award this week. We sure hope it's you. <laughs> we'll be pulling so. <laughs> for you. Whoever wins it, though, it's honestly well-deserved. And even to be among the 28 finalists is something you should be very, very yeah, proud of. I'm honored to be nominated, for sure. Congratulations. Thank you. Great to have you here. All right. That's John Harrington from Farmington Hills Harrison High School, a 13-time Michigan State High School football championship coach. Nobody has won more. We'll wrap up the update right after this. Great. That's good. That's